Hi guys, back here with another video. Um, so we're just going to jump into this thing. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so first up, I uh, did have a couple of uh, Goodwill finds. So we'll set this bag back here. So it found Last Action Hero Arnold. Hold on one sec, let me see something. All right, that's better. So, last action hero, Arnold. And, oh, come on. Well, we'll get back to him. Uh, Toy Biz Wolverine, which is kind of garbage. Uh, this is one of the birds for um, the turtle cycle. Uh, the psycho cycle, I believe is what it's called. Uh, it got a... Red Power Ranger, which says 95 on it. Um, I thought it was the one that the head flipped on it, but I guess it's not. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else is in here? Um, this is one of the Masters of the Universe um, New Adventures of He-Man, I think. I think his name was called Optic. If I remember right. What else? I know most of this was kind of garbage, but let me see if I can find what else. This is good in here. So this is the uh, Tales from the Crypt Crypt Keeper. That's keep wanting to, he keeps wanting to pop apart, but he's supposed to his hands supposed to shake and his head's supposed to turn. So, but I might have to hit him with some super glue and get him to stick together. But he's kind of a cool figure. I don't see him very often. And um. I think this actually went to the Ninja Turtle Ski, but I'm not 100% sure. If not, it went to some other junk, but I'm pretty sure it went to the Ninja Turtle Ski, so I'm going to have to double check on these and see. And then, i slide these guys out of the way. Most of those, like the Optic and the Power Rangers, are probably going to get sold. The only ones I'm going to keep is probably those two. I'm not even sure about the Arnold, but I'm definitely keeping the Crypt Keeper. Um, then, i got to... Doug Funny, and then just some random junk trucks, and something from Captain Planet, and a cape, and I actually needed this cape, because this goes to the Kenner Batman, and mine is missing a cape, so, good, happy to have that, and then a Batgirl, and uh, one of these Play People Knight figures, I think that's Playmobil, and Catwoman on car. And this is kind of cool. It's the uh, A&W Bear. And this... Yeah, I have no idea what that is. I'm sure it goes to a car. It looks like the engine. Looks like a blower up here. Um, little dump truck thing that... This is a... God, what do they call these? These were... Yeah, the Attack Pack. Uh, I believe this was a he or a McDonald's toy? No, Hot Wheels. This was an actual Attack Pack. But they even had some bigger ones of these, too. So you basically pull down on the back of the truck and... Ah, they did that thing. And then, little gorilla. And I'm assuming a McDonald's toy. Uh, 1991 DC Comics. But it's Batmobile and a... I'm assuming that's around the Batman Returns line. And then we got... I have no idea who this guy is. No clue. Um, I don't know what that's for either. Uh, a wing for something? Not sure. It doesn't look like it goes on the Batmobile anywhere. And a junk trailer and another Batwing looking thing. And a rubber R2. And then a handful of other random animals and such that don't really go to anything. So, um, most of this is going to be just junk. But, you know, it's kind of cool to see. Um, I'm going to have to check on those things and see if those go to the Ninja Turtle Ski. 
Um, but most of that is just kind of junk. I won't keep any of it. Um, next up, I know I got something else from... Okay. So I found this bag that had a couple of Transformers in it. Um, I don't know if this is a Transformer. Uh, it's got the head down here, which you can't really see. Let me see if I find a... So it's got the head. And it seems like it's complete, but yeah, um, unless there was... I'm guessing there was a missile in here that shot out. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if that's Transformers or not. I have no idea. So if anyone knows what this is, let me know. I don't see anything, any kind of markings that would let me think it was Transformers. And then we got this one. Um, this is a Transformer. Um, I can't tell you his name. Power Dive? Was it Power Dive? I don't know. I can't remember his name. Um, then I got one of these... I think it was a Cybertron or Universe or Armada or one of those things. It's uh, one of the Insecticons. Um, he's in really bad shape. He's missing a leg and an arm. So uh, he'll go in the Transformers junk box. And what else? So I picked up... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, this one. Um, Biker Mice from Mars. Uh toy and it's supposed to light up the wheel when you spin it and it's supposed to have a little rip cord that uh gosh i thought this thing had a rip cord maybe this one doesn't i'm pretty sure it had a rip cord yeah so it, it's got a little rip cord that it's supposed to go in here and then you yank it out and it spins and it's supposed to light up uh but the batteries are pretty shot on this one so um, and he's missing his mask, so pretty rough shape on that one. Um, but actually that one I bought from a friend, this one I actually found at the Goodwill and it's in a lot better shape and it's got the cover for the battery here. I have a good feeling this thing will work. He's still missing his mask, but that it's in a lot better shape than the other one. Um, so I'll be getting rid of, except for, I just noticed that the handlebar and his arm had snapped off. So, I don't know if I can fix that or not. I might be able to. If not, I'll just leave it alone. So, some biker mice from Mars. Those are always cool. And then with those guys, I got some more figures. This is uh, one of the bad guys for biker mice from Mars. And this is the one of the other bad guys. Um, and I was going to look these names up, but... If you guys want to know, you can look them up. There's not very many of them. It's Biker Mice from Mars, so you can Google it. I, I used to know what these things, all of their names were, but I haven't seen the show or talked about them in such a long time that I forgot about them. So uh, another one. And what else did I get? Now those didn't come from Goodwill, obviously. I bought those from a friend. Um, what else? We'll just jump in here. Um, so I went to a Ross store and got this for three ninety nine. Uh, that is the Aaron Yeager Attack on Titan figure by McFarlane. So I had a comment that a while back that someone said that I shot too close. So I'm trying to stay away from the camera and keep the stuff away from the camera. But sometimes it's cool to get in on this stuff and just see all the cool detail on it because that is a really that figure is really cool. Um, but it's McFarland, so it'll probably, uh, I don't know, fade away over the years. Just slowly start breaking down. Um, next up, I did pick up some Ninja Turtles, because, you know, I gotta always pick up some Ninja Turtles. So, this is the Shogun Leo. I think he was the only Shogun I needed, but then I realized that he's missing a piece down here, and I thought all he was missing was his armor. Yeah. Anyway, so I'll end up probably having to find another one of those because finding that little crotch piece is probably going to be pretty hard to find. Then I picked up the last of the mutation figures I needed. Uh, I always thought I had him until I was recently going through my Ninja Turtle collection and realized that I did not have this one. So this is the Leonardo Mutations figure uh, from the original series. And then I picked up uh, Toka. Yeah, this one was Toka, not Razor. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a muta another Ninja Turtle Mutations figure. And then, oh, this was in that bag of Goodwill stuff. Uh, I want to say this is a Digimon guy. I don't know who it is. I'm assuming it's a Digimon. It looks Digimon-ish. 
Then uh, I got a football player, Leo, and I think I've already got all the parts for him. Um, yeah. Then, so to go along with uh, stuff I got in a few videos ago, this is the ghost for the Ecto-1. So now my Ecto-1 is complete, 100%. So pretty happy about that. Then, um... Oh, I picked up this thing. I don't know why. I already actually had one. It still works. These are one of those monsters that lives in a crate things, and it looks like it's in a... Kind of reminded me of a Boglin. Kind of. Uh, the way the packaging was designed to look like a crate. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, then I picked up a Warlock Build-A-Figure from Marvel Legends. And he does have his uh, saw blade here. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I really like this character, so uh, I was happy to find this toy for a good price. So now the only uh, figures, build of figures that I'm looking for is, well, a lot of the X-Men. Blob, obviously, that's the most expensive one. And uh, Apocalypse, the big Apocalypse. I already got the smaller one. Um, then I picked up uh, Resident Evil. For, for the Wii, since you guys seen I just recently got a Wii and I have no games for it yet and I haven't modded it. Um, this is one game I loved years ago, so I just kind of had to have it. Um, what else do we got? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I did pick up some Loyal Subjects figures, so I got Skeletor and He-Man. Uh, I just really wanted the Skeletor and I figured if I'm going to get him, I might as well grab He-Man. And it was cheaper than buying one of those figures, so... I was happy to have those. And then I got, I think these are the last two I needed for the uh, Loyal Subjects uh, uh, Thundercats line. So Chitara and uh, Mumra. Because uh, I'm going to be selling my Blood uh, variant Mumra. Because, you know, if someone's willing to pay the money for it, I'm willing to get rid of it. All right. Move that stuff in here. I'll slide this back a little bit. And next up, I got a Soundwave um, from Siege Line. And I just had to have this figure. Look at that freaking light piping there. You can see how yellow his eyes are. Yeah, I had to have this one. Um, I'm a huge Soundwave fan, so I love the box art over here. Um, I haven't decoded any of this stuff yet to see what it looks like. Um... Yeah, but I'm very happy to have that. God, that barks, box art looks amazing. Yeah, love this thing. And then, I can't believe I never picked up one of these, but I ended up picking up a Royal Guard. Um, yeah. Um, I got some comics, but I think I'm going to hold on to those. So we'll hold on to the comics until I get some other ones, because I only have a couple. Um, I did pick up for... Uh, well, he'll know who it is, another uh, fellow YouTuber. I told him I'd grab these for him, so picked up some Mad Magazines. Um, these are not for me, but I, I do like this one with Rambo and Crocodile Dundee. I really like that one a lot. Um, yeah, and then the California Raisins. So, um, But those are not for me. I'm going to keep those or give those to a friend, so i got to get those in the mail at some point. Um, what's his left? Uh, I think I'm about out of stuff. Um, I did pick up a Gremlin. This is the GameStop exclusive Gremlin. And I don't know where the hell the receipt went. I don't know why I need it, but I feel like I do. Just in case. Anyway. Um, so I got the GameStop Gremlin here. Um, what is really cool is he comes with the Gremlins NES game. I believe that's an NES game is what it looks like anyway. And then he's got one of these little tabletop arcade things. I had one of those. I had the Donkey Kong one when I was a kid. Um, and he's got his little hat and you can kind of see over here, but he comes with all these really cool accessories. I love this one. How it's got the eyes cut out in the popcorn. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I love this. Does he have an Atari controller? Maybe that's the Atari Gremlins game. I think that's what that is. Is it Atari? I see glasses. Oh, he does have a little Atari controller there. 
That is cool. Um, yeah, I really like this one. Actually, I think I like this one better than the last one I got, which was one of my favorites until I seen this thing. And yeah, this is the best gremlin that I've picked up since the spider gremlin. So, uh, if you guys have a GameStop local, I would highly recommend grabbing this guy. He is freaking awesome. I would like to have seven more of those. Um, next up, I did pick up main reason why this haul doesn't seem like my normal hauls, I guess is one because I'm, I'm just running out of space and really money, <laughs> but mostly it's space. Um, well, money too. Who, who couldn't use more money, but anyway, um, so I picked up a G1 shrapnel or it's not shrapnel bombshell. One of the insecticons, um, God, I'm losing my mind today. I cannot remember any of these freaking figures' names. It's it's Insecticon, though. I mean, if you guys really want to know its name, which you guys don't, you guys are probably sitting there going, I can't believe he doesn't know the guy's name. Blah, blah, blah. His name's show and show. I, I, I understand. You know, I, I buy this stuff. I'm pretty knowledgeable. It's just when you get in front of the camera. You kind of forget. But if you want to point it out and tell me what it is... Feel free so if you feel like just writing a comment down there and saying whatever. Because trust me. Well, I'll show you. I, I can figure it out pretty damn easy who he is. Anyway, let's not dwell on that. Let's go into the next one. So I did pick up a Perceptor. Let's pull this guy out. So we got the Perceptor here. And we have... Both the things that go on his arms. And we have two extra missiles. He's got an extra one there. And he's got his gun. Um, so as far as I can tell, he is complete. Um, which I'm pretty happy to have. He was one of my favorites next to like Soundwave and stuff. I always like Perceptor for some reason. Him and um, I want to get the freaking, I want to get Reflector real bad. I I want I want those guys. Um we'll see. Hopefully one of these days I can afford one. So the last one and we'll just go this route. So um some of you guys can probably tell just from this bag what he is supposed to have and what he is not supposed to have. Who exactly I am talking about. This is probably a good giveaway. Uh, if that doesn't do it, what about these? Oh, those stickers are pretty bad though on that. Alright. This... Should be a good giveaway. Huh? Anybody? Anybody? Um, six shot. And the other one's scamper. Um, so you guys probably, if you even know what those names are, you probably already know that uh, there's a good chance I'm getting ready to show you a Metroplex. Which is a figure that I never thought I would find or be able to afford complete. Or at least this, this complete. I think I'm missing a missile or two. But we'll get to that here in a second. Let's go ahead and pull him out here. Right there. There's the Metro Plexus. And uh, yeah, really happy to have him. Uh, the only flaw that I really see on him, he's in pretty good shape. Uh, except for this tire here. So hopefully I can find a replacement tire for it. Or maybe super glue that one back together. I don't know. Um, I've never owned one of these. So I'm curious to be able to see how to put everything on him. Because um, I've never done it before. So um, while I'm at it. If you're a Transformers collector and you don't own one of these. Uh, what's, your, what's your problem? Like I wouldn't even call myself a huge Transformers collector. But I've still got one of these. So this is kind of like a must. Alright. Who are we looking for here? 
There's four mags. Uh, Tripticon. And a bunch of the combiners. There we go. There we go. All right. So these are all the parts that he is supposed to have. So let's go here. Okay. So anyone who has had this, so see Scamper here. He's got two arms and a gun. Mine has, from what I can tell, two guns. Unless, let's see, let's go back a page. Okay, so. So I've got that one. And see how he's got two different guns? I'm not seeing the other gun anywhere. So maybe that one doesn't go to him. Um. Alright, I'm going to go through here and mess with that later, because you guys probably don't care. Um, I did want to see if Perceptor, I think I'm going the wrong way to find Perceptor, but we'll see. No, I'm not. Perceptor should be in here. Some of the Insecticons. All right, what was your name? Bombshell. Ah, it was Bombshell. So I'm missing Shrapnel. That's the one I'm missing. And the gun for Kickback. And basically all of the Devastator parts. <laughs> those are gone. Cannot, I do not have those. Mm. Here's Perceptor. So he's supposed to have three, gun, three missiles, gun, gun, or missile launcher, and then all of his attachments. So he is complete. So pretty happy about that. Alright, so that is the end of this haul video, I think. I don't think I have anything else hiding in here that I didn't talk about. Yeah. Oh, I did want to show you guys, uh, anyone who's stuck around this long, I have been kind of working around the collection and moving some stuff around. Um, so I moved all of my Ghostbusters back up here. And started a Dino Rider shelf. But this all stuff's going to move away as soon as I get a box for it. Um, or at least move to a different location. Um, then I move some Hellboy stuff around. I've got to find a spot for um, uh, all the rest of these Predator figures and the Bucky O'Hare figures. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to take all these little cases. Because I've got enough, I think, that I can put all of these in my Detolf. And move the... the um, masterpiece figures so I have one masterpiece figure in each box is kind of my plan I don't know if that'll work but we're gonna try it and see um yeah and then I recently just built this this display case so I moved a lot of these little figures in here and these LEDs I ordered suck they're supposed to be white and as you can t see it's freaking blue and they're not bright and uh it said it was supposed to be 16 foot, but it's not. It's 16 foot with the extensions. If you put all these foot long extensions in everywhere, um, which didn't work, wouldn't work for the way it had to be. Yeah, they, they actually most of the extensions were bad. They had shorts in them. Um, anyway, um, so I got my the aliens and predator stuff in this one, and then a lot of my horror and NECA figures and different things in this one. And then Oz, Hellboy, uh, Toxic Crusader, and um, Bucky O'Hare. And then just this is just kind of random figures that I've gotten here for now. And then I've got room to put uh, eight more. No, four more. So I'll probably end up doing like Bucky O'Hare and Toxic Crusaders and then another random. And then um, I think I got enough Ghostbusters and then something else right there. So not sure yet. And then I moved all the Star Wars stuff, put it up here, which I don't like those guys up there. I'd rather them be up here so you can see the Rancor. 
Um, and then I've still got to finish doing restorations on those two. And then everything else over there is kind of the same. So, yeah, so that's what I have been working on. Uh, and that thing, which maybe we'll talk about one day. Um, yeah, um, I've still, I'm still in the process of trying to set up all these Ninja Turtles because I don't like how this looks. So, uh, what my goal is, is to get a bunch of these and have them set up here real nice. So, I'll have like higher end vehicles or maybe like a set of, you know, like the movie star turtles or something like that. Something a little bit more high end stuff kind of along here, I guess in this area. Um, yeah. So, um, I did put my, where the wild things are figures over there and move some of my statues. I got rid of, not really got rid of, but moved out some of the statues. So yeah. Um, that is it. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.